Okay, so this is another conservation of energy problem. Uh, in this problem, uh, we have an object moving on a smooth surface, no coefficient of friction there, uh, with a speed v naught to the right. Um, and at some point, it's going to come in contact with a spring whose stiffness or uh, spring constant is little k. Uh, and uh, once it starts pushing the spring, the spring is going to compress until it reaches its maximum compression. That's the x max. When the spring has been compressed at its maximum, the object will stop. It cannot move any further. So um, this is what we have here in terms of our energy diagram to begin with. An object in motion indicates that we have kinetic energy here. Uh, the object is on the level of reference, so therefore no potential energy. And here, an object at rest, uh, which means no kinetic energy, but a spring that's being compressed, a maximum compression x max, so now we have elastic potential energy at this point. Uh, there is no friction, so therefore there will be no work done by the force of friction to be considered in this problem. So again, for this part of the motion, the spring is it in its natural land, so therefore it does not store any energy. The object is moving, so we have kinetic energy. In at this position over here, once the spring has been compressed at the maximum compression, the object has stopped, so therefore there will be no more kinetic energy, but the energy that we have in the system is the elastic potential energy stored by the spring. What we need to calculate is how much did the spring get compressed, so what's x max equal to, knowing again v naught k, and the fact that there is no friction involved in this problem. So we are going to follow the same exact strategy that we've seen in the previous conservation of energy problems. We are going to set the kinetic energy from there equal to the elastic potential energy here. We remember that kinetic energy is one half mv, in this case naught squared, and elastic potential energy is one half k little k, which is again the spring constant, times x max squared. Now we can multiply both sides by 2, uh, so the 1 half goes away, which leaves us with mv naught squared equals kx max squared. And uh, I forgot over there, m was also given. So the mass of the object is also given. So therefore, um, at this point, point, we can just calculate the x max as being square root of mv naught squared over k, make it look a little bit nicer, take out the v naught under the square root, and we have left with x max equals v naught square root of m over k. And that is again the maximum compression of the spring um, in this problem was our to be determined and what was given was the speed of the object uh, as it moves towards the spring, the spring constant, the mass of the object and the fact that we have a smooth surface so therefore no friction. Thank you.